Good morning, I'm leaving from the Hunting Hollow trailhead on my way to Pacheco Camp here in Henry Coe State Park. I've been here before and uh, enjoyed it and uh, gonna have a great time. It's gonna be a great day today. I'm glad that you're able to come along with me and uh, we're gonna have fun. All right, let's do this. Just finished a 2,000 foot elevation climb, and this is my reward. The great thing about climbing up real steep uh, hills and st steep mountains is the awesome view that you get <clears throat> when you get to the very top. And that's one ugly lizard. And I was watching out this time. This is not what you want to see on the trail, especially when you're walking right past it. In fact, I almost stepped on it. So that's what I get for not paying attention. And uh, hopefully he'll get out of the way. This is Pacheco camp uh, really random out here in the in the wilderness a, looks like a barn over there it's a wash house a storage shed Here's a watering trough for the horses. I guess they have picnics for uh, people that reserve the camp. Uh, picnic tables. And like I said, they have water and uh, a shower, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to check it out or not, but uh, you can also camp here as well. So, anyway, we're going to check it out. It looks pretty awesome. I guess that's where they have the barbecues. The barbecue pit.
Well, good morning. This is May the 9th, my second day out on the trail. And uh, this is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm glad for the great night that I had last night. <clears throat> Didn't get much sleep, but uh, rested a pretty good bit. I'm leaving Pacheco Camp. It's a very unique camp. I never, I didn't know about it before, <clears throat> but uh, got a lot of buildings around it and uh, are within the camp. And uh, I guess it's for people that make reservations uh, and have uh, group camps and stuff like that and also use the facilities uh, inside <clears throat> for cooking and stuff like that. But it was a, a great place to camp and uh, enjoyed myself. And now I'm headed to Country Line uh, Road Trail going towards Jackrabbit Lake. Hopefully be able to do some fishing down there. Uh, I'm walking beside this creek. I don't know what the name of the creek is, but uh, going beside that, got a pretty good trek ahead of me, so let's get it. you can read that or not but it says Mississippi Creek This is Mustang Peak. It's 2,232 uh, feet above sea level. Um, you can take a trail up to the very top, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to just follow that trail alongside of it. Whew. This makes my fourth up and down, and I got a feeling I'm not finished yet. Seems like it's easier going up than it is going down. Uh, when you go down, you almost slide all the way down. When you go up, you just have to go about a half a mile an hour. But the uh, only thing to do it is to do it. Well, I did it at the top. Got a feeling I've got some more ahead of me. So again, the only thing to it is to do it. That's what I meant to say. I told you, this makes about the sixth uh, up and down that I've done. They call them PUDs, pointless up and downs. Whew. All right, let's do it. Thank you. 
Well, good morning. This is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And again, I'm glad for a good night's rest. Didn't sleep too good the night before. And so when I got to camp, I actually went to bed early, about 8.30. I've never, I don't think I've ever been. Uh, I went to bed that early. But anyway, I'm leaving Jackrabbit Lake campsite, which I stayed last night and uh, enjoyed the, uh, the rest. And I uh, got to do some fishing yesterday. And now I'm headed to, well, right now I'm headed to the lake to get some water before I leave. Then I'm heading down, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, Orest Arstimba uh, Creek Trail. It, uh, it follows a, tree, a creek bed, so hopefully I'm not doing a lot of those puds that I mentioned uh, yesterday. Uh, pointless ups and downs, and uh, hopefully I'll go along the creek bed. But uh, anyway, I'll let you know how it goes uh, as we uh, travel down towards Mississippi Lake. I think I'm going to stay there tonight. We've got a couple more days to go, and uh, then we'll be heading back home. So anyway, let's get it. a pine cone. All I gotta say is I'd hate to get hit in the head with that. I'm standing in the middle of Oristema, Oristema Creek and uh, yeah I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> it's kind of dry. What a difference one side of the trail makes, huh? been traveling for six, uh, six and a half miles since I left Jackrabbit uh, Lake and uh, it's about 12 o'clock and so I stopped for lunch. I'm here at uh, 
Oristimba. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Oristimba Corral. It's where, oh, if you're, uh, if you're have a bunch of horses, uh, if you're traveling by horses, then uh, you can stop here and uh, put your horse in, <laughs> in whatever that is. It's supposed to be a corral. I'm here for lunch, and uh, this is lunch. It's a tortilla, flour tortilla with um, pepperoni and cheese. So, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to eat. Well, it looks like that I didn't make it to Mississippi Lake. I decided to go back to Pacheco Camp um, I enjoyed it so much on Tuesday, thought I'd come back again uh, and spend the night uh, tonight, Thursday night. morning it's day four May the 11th and I am heading out of Pacheco camp part two heading towards uh, Pacheco Falls I'll be going there today and guess what this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope that you're rejoicing whatever you're doing today right now. Uh, you can look at it this way. It could be worse. <laughs> so I found out long time ago that you can always find somebody in worse shape than you are. For example, I've got a climb that I'm doing right now but guess what I'm rejoicing because it could be worse so anyway this is the day the Lord hath made we're gonna rejoice and be glad in it so let's go I told you to rejoice in your situation uh, at the moment because it could get worse. And as soon as I did that short climb, it did get worse. I had to climb at least about a thousand feet. But again, I can rejoice because look at the views that I have getting on top of the mountain. Except the only problem is I'm not at the top. The top still keeps going. So again, let's rejoice in the situation that we're in right now because it could get worse.
I descended straight down Live Oaks Trail to Pacheco Falls about three miles straight downhill. Um, and then I come to this. Kind of discouraging. I'm sure that probably during the winter time, um, the water flow is a lot more intense, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> it's almost the middle of May, and uh, there's not much water coming down out of the Pacheco Creek. Perhaps maybe some other time it can come, and uh, the falls will be a little bit more impressive. Now the bad thing about going three miles down is now I've got to go three miles back up. morning today is Saturday May the 12th day 5 of my excursion here at uh, Henry Coast State Park and uh, I'm heading towards um, well, I'm heading towards Kelly Lake right now and then catch Kelly Lake Trail catch Wasno Road and then eventually head towards uh, Hunting Hollow trailhead where my car is and uh, my backpack is very <laughs> very light uh, I don't have any food left and uh, I'm gonna have to have a resupply and uh, but great thing about it my resupply is gonna be at home so I'm excited about today hey you know what today is today is the day the Lord hath made we will rejoice and be glad in it. Whatever happened yesterday, whether good or bad, learn from it. You learn more from the bad than the good, but uh, always learn a lesson about life. Whatever happened in the past is the past. Whatever is going to happen tomorrow hasn't happened yet. All we've got is today. And so today is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you're rejoicing today, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'm heading home today.
This is Mistletoe Spring. It's by Wilson Camp. Spring coming right out of the mountain and uh, flows all the time from what I understand. Mm -hmm. 